We lost the drone yesterday. And we're gonna do some hunting this year. So morning so it's like six o'clock and this is what our normal morning looks like so uh, I'll show you real quick our normal morning usually starts with there's Jocelyn wave Jocelyn playing piano doing her piano practice and mom was in here cooking breakfast we usually have something hot cooked for every breakfast so um, winter time sometimes we we get as we get our schedule shifted all the way up to maybe sometimes we're up at 4 30 but right now it's only six o'clock and we're having late later days so this is our normal morning abby's downstairs editing and uh, i'm going to take this footage to her and maybe you'll get to see it good morning um, I'll show you how we do our dryer. First, that's our cross at night. So we put a cross on about everything. That's our thing, I guess. Even though you see our logo or is uh, Top Family Farm, but it's three crosses. But that's the only nightlight we have up here. But uh, I'll show you. Um, hopefully this thing's on good here. Hopefully that's right. I'll show you at my dryer routine of a night and um i don't know I, I got this little light here I'll, maybe you can see me but i come out of a night and keep an eye on the dryer and it's turned off and uh it's nice and calm and cool and uh you have to sometimes it's come out at nine reload and 10 11 12 one or two i mean I don't know. sometimes i get up three times of a night and come out here and check it sometimes there's problems but uh Nighttime is pretty nice because I'll show you one of the things that's really nice to do And you probably won't be able to see it, but there's the moon And when you come out at night and, and the moon's full and you're harvesting on the moon You you really get to appreciate the stars again and tonight's really really clear You can't see them, but I can go around and look at all the All of the constellations and we like to I like to see the big dipper and you really get to appreciate god's creation when you come out at night uh harvesting in the nighttime so we're gonna go out here and see what we can do with uh the dryer it turned off i hope it's done and not a catastrophe so we're gonna run out here right now just to make sure it's done and i'm still in my pajamas not in work clothes i don't want to clean up a mess of corn I don't want to clean up, uh, I don't want to be digging out anything, but um, I don't trust this all night, every night. And we're going to come out here and tap this van. And let's see right here. You can't see it, but there's the van. But you can hear it. And that is a hollow sound. So we don't have enough capacity to go real real hard all day on wet corn or go real real long all night you know like uh <clears throat> zach johnson millennial farmer larson's and stuff they have they have uh pretty big wet holding bins they just fill that up and they can pretty well go as hard as they want and they run it all night everything's real automatic but we're not to that yet we just have a that big wet holding bin that you've seen the cone bin when that gets filled up, we kind of have to stop. So drier corn, we get to go harder and faster and longer. But uh, on wetter corn, it slows us down. We have to dry slower. Usually we fill up and wet corn usually runs till about three or four in the morning. Dry corn usually is over by midnight. We get to run longer during the day, but I kind of got to keep an eye on it and, and, and such. So we have really nice dryers compared to some folks but uh 
um, we don't have the nicest and biggest so it takes a little bit more effort certainly not antiquated and we're grateful for it but uh, it's it takes a little bit more management too so I might not work in a combine all night long but uh, for drying corn and uh, getting the corn dry it means a lot too so uh, that's uh, our drying experience right there I'll leave you with a shot of our cross at least hopefully you can see that and uh, that's reflecting onto our van but there's our cross nice screenshot there it drives the psychos crazy they give us heck for it but uh, we'll be rewarded in eternity for that that don't bother us that much we'll put up with all the rigmarole the psychos put us through but uh, you'd be amazed at how evil people hate crosses We lost the drone yesterday. We're gonna go down here and try to find it. So before we ran over it with a combine. So that's what we're doing. You can go, Abby, anytime. We sent down we sent a flag down here where we think it might be. There it is, it's shaking. It's shaking it so we see it. We found it, so that is really, really good. Had one of my good SD cards in there. Yeah! Okay, daddy's coming. I don't know. You can quite see him yet, but you will soon if you can't. Let me see. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm a drone. I'm a drone. Found it. Okay. All right, so we're down at the pond now, and we actually have our hay bale blinds out. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link in the description and maybe even pop a card, like right up there or right up there, wherever it's at. Um, to go watch that video. It was a very good video, but um, we are actually going to get these set up. It is October 7th, maybe? Um, 6th or 7th, but we are going to get these put up, get the deer kind of that come around used to them so they aren't fr afraid of them, and then we're going to do some hunting this year. So It's about noon, and I'm going to head into lunch now. Okay, here's lunch today. Alright, I finished eating lunch, and I'm back out here now. Sorry if it's a little echoey in here. It might be, I don't know. Um, but I'm talking a little bit in here because it's very noisy out there and I don't know if I'll talk much. So if I don't talk much, that's why.
it is about six o'clock and we're gonna head in now um so the last footage you saw was the head getting unplugged or plugged up or whatever but what happened was when we moved over to that smaller field um we thought it was dry and we thought it needed to get out first but um it looked better than the field we were on from the derecho um, but it turns out that it wasn't, and it just, the corn was leaned over, and it plugged up the header several times. I had to get out and unplug it three times, and Daddy unplugged it for us once, but we ended up switching back to the 100 acre field that we were on, and doing some more on it. M one of the main reasons we switched back was, so our wet holding bin, it has three switches that pop as a pop up as the corn goes higher up so the first one was switched what meant the corn was up there so we went over and started doing the 20 acre field the dryer was faster at drying than we were at combining and we came back and the um, first bottom switch was no longer switched so we just ended up changing over but anyways hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and share the video if you thought it was enjoyable Y'all come back now, dear. Yeah.